All right, I'm joined here for our special coach's corner by head baseball coach Russell Triplett. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, I know it's a tough time right now, but I appreciate what the work you guys are doing, um, continuing to work and, and put out information on our student athletes. And I know you guys are working hard over there. So thank you guys for, for all you're doing. Uh, no problem. So uh, first of all, how are you uh, adjusting to the new normal, as they call it? Uh, I guess I'm adjusting slowly but surely. Uh, it doesn't feel like the, the normal for me. I know we keep putting that in the new normal, but it needs to be. I feel much more comfortable reading body language, demeanor, watching people in person, spending time with the guys, seeing them on a daily basis. So that's been the biggest adjustment is not, not seeing our players on a daily basis, face-to-face -face in person, spending the time with them. Um, it's tough to, to really see emotions um, through text and uh, over the computer at times. But, but I'm adjusting and uh, ready to see them in person soon, though. Yeah. So um... – You've been able to stay in touch with your student athletes. I guess you've been using Zoom a lot, uh, staying on top of things. Yeah, we're, we're communicating with our student athletes probably two to three times per week with each guy. Um, I have a tremendous staff here at Newberry on the baseball staff with uh, Jay Snyder, Ryan West, and, and Fico Conla. Uh, we split our team up between the coaches. Each coach is contacting you know, 10 to 15 guys, two to three times a week to discuss academics. Um, obviously, it's new here at Newberry with um, not many classes being online. So the, the virtual learning um, is an adjustment. Each coach is, is contact them, staying on top of them, checking, making sure that, that they're communicating, doing the things that they're supposed to be doing on the academic side. But, you know, our baseball program has done really well. Um, and, and done some really good things academically over the last, you know, 10 years. I think we've had the highest team GPA in the conference seven out of the last eight years, something like that. You know, I'm proud of our student athletes and the importance that our guys put on the academic side. You know, the number one goal for each player that, you know, comes to Newberry is to graduate from Newberry. So our job is to help prepare these guys for the next chapter in their life and it seems a little tougher right now by, FaceTiming and, you know, Zoom and text and staying on top of them. But, you know, I think our guys take enough pride in the academics here that we're just trying to continue the things we did while, while they were here. And, and our, our guys have adjusted and, you know, learning the, the ins and outs of the, the online learning and um, staying on top of it. And to me, it's about being organized and getting their stuff in line. And we're just there to kind of, reiterate those things to them, check in, and, and be an ear for them to, to talk to if they have any issues. But I think our guys are doing well, and I think, you know, a lot of our guys have improved during this time. I mean, they got really no excuse in my mind because we're not practicing every day. We're not strict to the 20 hours a week plus the end season and the game. So um, they, they should do well. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, so coming off a conference championship last year, obviously your season was cut short. Um, almost right in the middle of it. Um, how did you feel like your season was going? Um, obviously, your record was really good, nationally ranked. Um, but how did you feel the season was going? And um, Yeah, you know, obviously everyone in the country was disappointed um, with the spring season being canceled. I think we were 18-6, and six, which isn't bad. Uh, but I honestly didn't think we had put everything together to this point or to the point when, when the season stopped, we were finding ways to win, you know, without playing that great, I think at times, which is a positive. I thought we were getting close to figuring out who we were. We lacked some consistency, I, I think, in the first half of, of the season. I think we pitched and played defense really well at times, but would struggle offensively on those days. I think if we played offense certain days, we didn't, we didn't pitch that great. I didn't think we played our best. But, but had a lot of learning moments, uh, you know, in the first half of the season to prepare us to be successful at the end of the year. Um, we, we challenged ourselves. We went down to Florida and played a really good nationally ranked Nova Southeastern team on, on the road and won two out of three. You know, we, we beat an Alabama Huntsville team that we didn't know a lot about coming into and, and swept them um, for a non-conference series that they went on a roll after they left here. And I think they were moved into the top 25 in the country. So I, I think we've challenged ourselves with good teams and, and we're still trying to figure out who we were. Offensively, 
we had some guys that had produced at, at a much higher level in the past that, that weren't producing as much, and I felt like they were close to getting going. It wasn't a lack of effort or work. We just hadn't put things together. So, I mean, if you th look at the overall record, 18-6 and six at that point, it, uh, it doesn't look bad, but I thought our best days were in front of us, which was disappointing. And I think you, you, your goal is to uh, – the, the body of work should – help you at the end of the year and I, I think that we we had some certainly had several moments throughout in the first half of the season that could help us down the road and, um, but it, it's not just the record and and what what you could have done it, it's the the opportunity to compete and, and go through it on a day-to-day -day basis just the practice too I mean being out there each day with the guys um, putting in the work and, and seeing guys improve I, I think that's the thing that, that's been the toughest during this period is you're not seeing that that daily weekly improvement that is a goal in this program and in most programs so just just miss them just miss playing miss competing miss watching them compete and um, hopefully we'll be out there soon yeah I hope so uh kind of to tag along with that um how do you feel about your team and your program going forward into next fall and next spring well, I, I think one of the things we talk about in, in our program here is that we're, our goal is not to have one good team. Our goal is to have a good program. And in order to do that, you got to recruit. you got to have the right coaches. you got to have the right people in, in, in the program. And, and the goal is to get better each year. So um, you lose key guys every year, and, and you wonder how you're going to replace them. And you don't, you're not looking to replace that one guy with, with one other. You're looking for other guys to step up and get better in the program. And I'm proud of, you know, the development that our guys um, had in this program. And I, I think that optimistic, I, I don't ever try to put expectations on a season, um, but I'm excited about getting them back and, and having a chance to compete next year if, if whenever they let us do it. But uh, certainly we, we have some good pieces returning. We had a lot of younger guys. We, we had six or seven seniors, um, some key seniors, and we're, we're still in limbo with, how that that whole situation is going to work out. I'd love to have all of them back. They put in their time here in this program, and uh, they push the program forward. I think one of the goals when we bring in is certainly we talked about earlier is to graduate, but then, you know, right behind there is to, to leave the place better than when you found it, both individually and from a program standpoint. I think this senior class certainly pushed this program forward. Um, I'd love to have a, another year with, with each one of them. I don't know if it's in the cards based on – we have four of them that um, plan on graduating in May. So um, they're looking at their options as far as coming back and what they could possibly do. But we're, we're kind of in limbo. I would love to have all of them back. But I'm excited about the group we got coming in too and, and, and the returners. But, you know, th this is a tough time right now as we're going through um, this quarantine and, and other things going on with the, the, the virus and the – lockdown shut down it, it's you got to be uh, individually motivated and you got to motivate yourself during this time and I think some guys can really improve their situation some guys can find excuses of not to do anything so uh, trying to push guys to stay active and stay motivated not just to, to be a good baseball player be a good person and and get better um, you know from a strength and conditioning standpoint from a skill set standpoint and then obviously academically we're, we're trying to get better and as a coach you're used to seeing them every single day and, and now you're, you're relying on text and phone calls and and trusting that that they're doing what they say they're doing and um, I guess that's that's everybody's battle and what every program's going through at this time but I'm certainly excited about the group we got coming back and and then the new guys um you know, I think we've done a good job. Our staff, our coaches, Snyder and Fico and West, um, really, luckily, we've done a really good job recruiting to this point, and we, we've signed who we think is a good group, um, 14 or 15 guys that we've got signed to this point, and we're excited about a lot of those guys coming in, too. Okay. Well, to kind of touch on that as well, um, with the whole NCAA – um, dead period, how, and obviously no in-person contact. How have you guys been handling the recruiting aspect? I know that has to make it a little bit more difficult. You can't get guys on campus, um, get guys to games, but how have you um, guys been handling that? Well, the, I mean, you, you've been in the game, and you, you know the game, and 
for all college coaches, recruiting never stops. Um, but, but this certain certainly this issue has has stopped the traveling to watch games, uh, the on campus visits. But I think you're, you're dealing with a senior a high school senior class that um, are still looking for places to play, and they were planning on playing a, a senior season, hopes of giving themselves a chance to to play at the next level. So you got a lot of um, I use the term in panic mode, a lot of players, student athletes are in panic mode as far as what they're going to do because they, they can't play anymore. So you're relying on a lot of emails, videos, guys, players reaching out, coaches reaching out. Um, it's a little different type of recruiting. Um, we've been fortunate enough to, to, like I said, sign 15 guys. We've got several pitchers in there that we feel like can, can help us push our pitching staff forward. We've got position players, young guys. Um, that we've watched for, for a couple of years that we're excited about what they can bring to our program. And then obviously it's getting them in here and, and buying into the Newberry way and the way we do things here and um, playing for Newberry College. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's a different type of recruiting. Um, I'm glad that, that our guys are lucky to have coaches that really worked hard um, up until this point and, and saw a lot of games. So now we're kind of going back through guys that we've watched and notes and still looking for, for guys that can help our program. We don't have a set you know, number as far as what we're trying to get to in this class. We're, we're adjusting to based on the personnel we have, but we're, we're, we're always looking to add the right type of guys. So um, it, it cuts down on the on-campus visits. You like to spend one-on-one -on -one time with recruits and their parents and talk about the program, get to know them a little bit more on a personal level. So it's kind of, you know, that's been a little different, but we're, we're still always recruiting. We're still trying to plan when we're allowed to go back out. And obviously all coaches are looking to find the right guys. Right, no doubt. Um, so to kind of wrap things up, a couple fun little questions. Uh, besides working, what have you been doing to kind of stay busy and <laughs> have fun, you know. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I've been – I was depressed in the tank, um, however you want to call it, um, and this whole thing came about. You know, understanding that it's for the best um, – with the decisions that are being made individually, it still hurts you because obviously it's, it's our job, but it's what we love to do too. So I spent a lot – a uh, lot of time with my family during this. Uh, spring is usually uh, crazy in the triplet household. Uh, obviously, with, with my wife and I both being uh, college coaches, and and in season during the spring, our schedules are crazy, and time is limited with each other and our kids. Uh, we got three boys: Cal, Cruz, and Kane. They're five, six, and eight, and they are nonstop. Uh, but it's, it's given me an opportunity to do a lot of things I've never been able to do with them during the spring. Um, it's been really fun to share the moments uh, with them that a lot of times we're relying on other people to do. Uh, so, you know, I, we spend a lot of time fishing, um, riding bikes. we got the triplet bike gang that we, we roll around Newberry in and uh, all four or five of us if uh, – everybody goes on it so we're shooting bb guns um intense wiffle ball games in the yard um and the list goes on but it's been a good i, I guess that's a that's a huge positive because I, I i think my wife and i both feel like we neglect our, our kids during the spring season when you're playing 50 games and practice and they've got they're playing sports and um, it's really tough and i'm lucky to I have a wife that is extremely organized. She has a command post at the house that has everything going up. That's kind of gone by the wayside. She's handling the triplet academy with the boys in the morning, and then we, we do stuff in the afternoon. And, um, you know, it's everything competitive at the house, but I'm, I'm getting to see and spend some time with them and, and teach them some things that, you know, my dad taught me and, and a lot of kids rely on that we, we don't typically get to do in the spring. So, I mean, it, it, there's any positive time with the family and um, watching my kids grow up in the spring that I really get to see. I mean, cut hair. I cut my wife's hair. I mean, we're, we're, we're finding ways to get it done there. I don't know how smart that was on her part, but um, spending time with the family, which we, we don't typically get to do during this time of the year. Yeah. 
that's awesome. Uh, and finally, what's the first thing uh, you plan on doing once the quarantine's lifted, everything at least starts getting back to normal, you can get out. What's the first thing you would like to do? Recruit. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game. And, um, you know, I, I, obviously I just want to see a game. Um, I want to watch baseball, period, but, but also uh, recruiting, getting out. I know it's going to be a madhouse. It's going to be a, a race to go find players, but that's, I mean, that's the job. That's what it is. And then, obviously, um, chance to practice and, and work with our guys. I think that's part of missing the most. You know, I don't know how how much my, my players would believe this, but I, I certainly and, and truly miss them. Um, you know, they may think I miss getting on them, but I miss seeing them every day, miss being out there. Um, you get caught up in the grind of a college baseball season, the ups and downs and the emotional roller coaster, but really the relationships and um, the group of people you spend the most time with. I miss spending time with them, seeing them grow, seeing them develop, seeing them play, seeing them compete. So, I think when this is all said and done, I'll, I'll look forward to bringing the group back and, and being together and, and you know, uh, continue to work to improve the program and uh, accomplish new things here. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, Coach, thanks for taking time to sit down and talk and talk about your program and everything else. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Thomas. I appreciate what you guys are doing. Uh, you're welcome. Talk to you later. All right. Take care.